I was a law clerk on the United States Supreme Court for Harry Blackman the year after he wrote the majority opinion in Roe v. Wade. I've argued cases before the United States Supreme Court, four of them. I really regard this institution with reverence as well as respect. And what Donald Trump is doing, talk about partisan, is outsourcing and delegating this decision to right-wing fringe groups that are implementing, screening and vetting this nominee for the Trump litmus test, automatically overturn Roe v. Wade, cut back health care rights, disregard voting rights, civil rights. This court will be shaped for decades. What are we doing to stop this nomination? Well, of course, first, like good lawyers on the Judiciary Committee, we're doing a ton of research. And of course, what we've discovered is that this nominee is in favor of giving the president power to fire the special counsel who is investigating him, that he is in favor of vast expansion of presidential power when most Americans today want Donald Trump to be checked and bridled because he's out of control, personally, as well as in terms of authority. And of course, he has favored holding the Consumer Finance Protection Board unconstitutional. He doesn't like what it does, protecting consumers, but he thinks the president ought to have control over it. So these kinds of knowledge and facts are very, very relevant. And what we're going to do is make the case to the American people that he is not the right nominee, right wing fringe, the product of a corrupt process and a president who has made himself the puppet of these groups. And look at how relevant these issues are right now. Rudy Giuliani on Sunday said the president ought to continue to have pardon power. Who will determine whether President Trump can pardon himself or his cronies? The swing vote, this nominee. Who will determine whether he has to comply with a subpoena from the special counsel? This nominee. And he must absolutely